Hi there and glad to see you again on my channel. And today we are going to talk about full process of car animation using camera rail rig. A lot of you asked in the comments for more detailed tutorial on how to animate and how to attach car to camera rail rig. As I touched this topic very briefly and I didn't go in depth of how that should be done in previous videos. So today I will guide you through the whole process on how to use camera rail rig as a car pass, how to make a car drift and still follow this plan. But before make sure that you watched my previous videos about the car animation first and have already the car prepared for this tutorial. I've also made a playlist for you with the car rig and which will be updated as I post new videos for this topic. Now let's get into it. Here I have added vehicle map template as it is bright and very simple, so you can better see what is happening in the scene. First I will create our pass with camera rig rail, click on plus button, cinematic, camera rig rail. To snap rail to the ground hit end key on your keyboard, it's a very useful trick and I will use it later on. Now I will be creating path, adding more points by dragging the last point of spline and holding ALT key on the keyboard. It creates new spline points and allows you to create custom shapes of the spline, changing spline points position just like shown right now. Continue creating spline to fit your curve by creating more points and adjusting shape. If you see that the spline has weird shape, you can fix it by editing point rotation. Just simply select it and turn, so the spline would be smooth. Always try to make the spline as smooth as possible so the car won't wobble on it. If you have uneven terrain, you can snap each point to the ground individually, select the point which you would like to snap, and hit and on your keyboard like mentioned before. Now I will speed up the process of the spline adjustment. As we already learned the basics, after that it just takes time to make the pass you like. Now it looks good to me. Let's check on the basic shape, how does it work. I will add cube. By default you can't attach static mesh to the rail, so we need to change actor mobility to movable. Mostly you will run into this issue with static meshes. As we attach the cube, notice this. Cube location hasn't changed as the zero coordinates for it are now located inside the rail rig. We need to reset it so the cube will sit on the rail cut. Now select the rail and tick Lock Orientation to Rail, so the actor will be always facing the direction of the spline. Now if you try to change current position on rail parameter, cube will be smoothly following the spline. Brilliant, that works well. Now let's try to do that with the car. For animation we will create a level sequence. I will call it Drive Test. Open the sequence, now select Rail Rig and click on plus track button in Sequencer. Go to Actor to Sequencer and add selected. It will be on top. Now we will add the car. Be sure that you already have the skeletal mesh and the control rig prepared. I have Mustang from previous videos, so I grab skeletal mesh, drag it to the scene and add it to the sequencer too. In order the car follow this plan, we need to attach it in sequencer. On skeletal mesh, click Add Track, Attach Camera Rail Rig. As you can see, car position now is very far away as it kept the coordinates, but it's zero point, not the world location right now, but rail rig mount. Reset the location. Now everything is where it should be. For camera rig rail, add Track Current Position on Rail. We will animate this parameter for car movement. In the beginning set keyframe for 0 and 1 in the end. You can set any value between 0 or 1, it just represents the start and end point of the spline. Cool, car is moving, but smooth keyframes are not good for my purpose. As I want car move drive steady at the same speed. But smooth keyframes can be used for braking and acceleration. For this case, I will transform these keys to linear interpolation, so car moves at the same speed all the time. Next step is adding control rig for our skeletal mesh. Click Add Track to Skeletal Mesh, select Control Rig, Asset Based Control Rig. Unreal Engine automatically will switch to animation mode and will display the controls. I have some basic setup with body, steering and wheel rotation. First I will start with steering and change it accordingly to respond to the turn. 
select the controller and move it so the wheels will turn. And add a keyframe for that. Don't forget to add the keyframe for each change you do because if you don't, that will revert to the original position and your animation may be ruined. Now I go back a few frames and set steering to its neutral position and also keyframe it. Adjust it to the point that it feels real to you. Right after that I set wheel rotation, also don't forget to make keyframe for that, otherwise wheels won't spin on your render. Check if the wheel spin is fine for the speed your car going. I think it's too slow, so I will increase the wheel spin ratio right now. Go back to zero frame and adjust it. Now it looks better. The best thing working with the object which is attached to a spline that you can offset it from the zero point of the spline and make it slide or drift. Go to transform section of your skeletal mesh and set a keyframe into zero frame. This is our spline card center point. Now when we move further on the spline, find a place where car should start drifting. Add a keyframe so it maintains zero position but will be sliding from this point. Move a bit further and transfer the car position to your liking and don't forget to keyframe it. Now find the position when you think the car should go back to regular driving from drifting. Keyframe it and in the end reset all values to zero returning the car straight on the line. Have a look at your whole animation. For my taste, drifting happens too fast. So let's widen the distance between neutral position and beginning of drifting. Now it looks better. After initial animation is done, I will be adding some steering transforms, so it better reflects drifting behavior. Looks fine for this quick setup, let's get to the body shake. The process is pretty the same, when a car drifts, the mass is transferred to the outer side. Using the body control I can transform the shake. You can look for the references in the internet for how the street legal cars are drifting, basically adjust these videos to your animation and learn from it. Actually, it turned out even better than I expected just for the tutorial purposes. If you work commercially, try pay attention to details and make car behavior much more detailed and realistic. This extra step will be appreciated by the client, but don't forget to charge hours for your work. And this is the exact way I have created animation in City Sample in my previous video. I have attached the car to the spline, keyframed steering and wheel rotation, added body shake, placed the camera in the scene and made the render resulting in this short cinematic. And there is nothing any one of you can't do, just take your time, learn and create something spectacular. And if you would like to learn more about Unreal Engine, animation and post-production tips, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit a like for this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.